Hey everyone, welcome to Camp Keyframe. And in this video, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you how to create your own uh, animating texture. So uh, I created this composition with a solid in it. What you're gonna do first is you need some uh, textures. I got uh, this one right here, um, or this one, or hello, or this one, all right, there it is. Um, so let's close it up. I'm gonna use the first one, just add it in your composition. And yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty big, so that's good. Make it a bit, a bit wider, make it big enough. Something like this, all right. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna open, I'm going to go to the timeline, open my uh, rotation and my position. So if I, if I press R, it opens my uh, rotation and I hold shift and I also press P, then it opens my position next to the rotation. So uh, let's zoom in a bit here. Um, pretty zoom in, it's cool. Uh, give it a keyframe for both of them. Move a, a few frames to the right, and then you're just gonna switch switch it up. I'm just gonna rotate and uh, reposition this thing. So uh, press W to open the rotation tool. Uh, I'm gonna rotate it like this, and maybe uh, put it over here just to get some randomness. Uh, we're gonna do that again, and we're gonna turn it right here and turn it turn it again like this. So and maybe. Maybe right here and the more you um, create this the more keyframes you create the more randomness the more randomness you'll get all right the more different steps you're gonna get is what I mean I'm sorry so let's kind of put it at the same distance so so if I look at it now I can do it like this but I what I want to do is I want to hold these, it needs to hold these keyframes. Now it's animating in between these keyframes, which I don't want. You can leave it like this, and there you have it. But I want to uh, select all, all of these, right click on them, and I go to toggle hold keyframe, which means, it'll, you see them change, which, which means, zoom in here, if I, the, the first keyframe is right here, and it stays until the next keyframe. Only then the animation will change. Um, so now it's a bit less, um, you know, a hysteric, uh, but my animation stops right here. Uh, so what I can do is I can copy these, Command C and then Command V, and I'll copy them again and then go on forever. But I can just easily, uh, just as easily add an expression to this, just to make it uh, loop. Um, to add an expression, hold Option on your keyboard and click click the stopwatch. So click it right here, and it'll open the expressions box. And what you're gonna type in, I'll I'll leave this down in the description of the video so you can copy it there. It's uh, loop out with a capital O, open parentheses, type, space is space again. Um, these things and I'll cycle oh, with a small c uh, quote end quote and then close parentheses and uh, just. Copy that. Come on, C. Go to the uh, go. Press uh, hold Option on your keyboard. Press this one also. This key, the keyframe, the stopwatch for rotation. Open that. Paste it in. And now it continues to cycle all the way through. I only need these five keyframes, but it will loop um, to infinity. So what I can do now is just put the blending mode on. Let's say multiply, and zoom in here, and I have this animating texture background. And if I want, I think now nah, it's it's going way too fast. I can just select all of these, hold again, hold Option on your keyboard, and select the last one and drag it to the right, which will just make the gaps uh, evenly uh, larger. So it will animate a, uh, less fast. If I want to want to make it faster, just put them close together, and it's a lot faster. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.